Cameron Zink, here we are. Tell us about your bike, man. This is a Da Vinci Spartan. It's the older one that's non-high pivot. Uh, the only real reason is flipping step downs. Other than that, the chainsaw is, you know, better bike for 99% of things you do, but it's really just hard to flip step downs with the low pivot. So I'm on essentially the older one, okay. um, but it's 160 rear and with the hydraulic bottom out and this new RockShox Ultimate Super Deluxe is like, it's actually enough. Like, I don't know if you can see right here, but that little like, you can see that there's always, that last little half inch is almost impossible to get, Okay. but it, it hits there frequently. So you'd think that 160 wouldn't be, it'd be undergun, but it's pretty dang good. Full 200 mil up front. Okay. Uh, my uh, new DD CZ40 signature handlebars, signature census grip, census seat, census crew pedals, um, Michelin DH22 and 34 in the back, 27.5 front and rear, uh, Onyx hubs, super awesome, keeping it really silent and quiet and um, 150 cranks, Canfield. Okay. Usually run five devs. Um, my, new, my new Rampage bike, I'll put five devs on it, but this is um, just keeping this one together as is. Uh, but I really like short cranks. Okay. It's kind of like a cool new trend. Remy, Remy goes really short, like, yeah. and I've heard even a couple of the World Cup racers are running like other branded stickers on really, really short ones. So it's not just for free riding. I think there's benefits and um makeshift frankenstein uh, axis dh oh, really? <laughs> and yeah love it it's so, just so nice having just two cables up front and not having an extra driller cable or anything yeah and, and as we see with your incredibly bent hanger you still get some shifting performance because it kind of auto adjusts right yeah i bailed on uh two flip superman sea crabs two days ago and folded the hanger and it still shifts pretty dang good. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> and I didn't really want to bend it back because then it makes it weaker, you know? But uh, so I just kind of left it for the rest of the week. Okay. And it's actually shifting all right. Okay. And these are the Stands Flow MK4. I stick to aluminum rims. I don't think the weight savings is worth it for carbon. And these are the, the offset ones. The MK3s are like my favorite rim ever, um, like by far, and bent less than I ever have of any other rim or previous sponsor. And then these are just the new upgraded ones with the offset spokes and a little stronger. Uh, yeah, the MK4 flows are amazing. Two questions I have. The short crank thing, why do you like shorter cranks? Well, uh, Remy explained to me that you're just more centered on the bike like Moto, something okay. I'm a huge fan of. And I've found personally, unlike solicited by him, that better for whips, just being more centered. Um, not necessarily better for flat flips and things where you need to get really far back, but kind of more consistent, I guess. Um, but switch spins is probably the biggest thing I noticed because um, people that spin chip footed, like spin toward their front foot, usually have good threes, but when you're not used to it, that's the most awkward point in turning into your front foot. So brings them closer together. They're stronger, they're lighter. Um, and then also little benefits like if you're pedaling through a rock section, sure, it's going to be better, but that's sure. obviously not the main focal point. You're not doing a ton of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tire pressure. I try to run it the same all the time, give or take a few PSI, so that I'm not, when I'm riding here or Rampage or something, be completely different. Sure. But I'll run 31 up front and 36, 37 in the back. Um, so if I'm, say, I'm just riding a bike park, I might bring it down a couple PSI, you know, sure. but usually right around there. Uh, I'm currently running tubeless front and rear, okay. but uh, for Rampage, I'll always put a tube in the back, still be tubeless up front because um, over-rotating even the tiniest bit, and it's pretty easy to blow off tire and ruin your run. Okay. But um, No inserts. No inserts. Michelin sidewalls are insane, so like you, okay. no, no need for inserts. Okay. Um, and what is this? Uh, wrapped the frame? Like what? Tell us about that. Yeah, so they, I made the decision right before Rampage last year that I was going to ride this one instead of the chainsaw and because because i knew what i wanted to do in my line and it involved step a really big step down flip so um decided to go back to this and they they had a custom painted chainsaw for me and this was last minute and they needed to cook something up and it turned out awesome it's a wrap yeah, they just did this cool kind of abstract design in a matter of like a week or something that's pretty um, but yeah the it looks cool thanks yeah it's like got a neat texture too right like Every, everyone it. comes up and has to feel it for sure <laughs> but it's uh yeah i love this thing it was full monochromatic I had a black fork on it before the new boxer came out, but um, so then I matched it with our new blood, blood, blood red, splatter yeah, cranks, blood splatter pedals. pedals from from Census, and um, yeah, it's actually kind of blends together now. But it was like full monochromatic, you know, yeah. which is sick. Now, 
obviously like having custom built bikes is kind of a personal expression. Yeah. Like, is there like certain part uh, or of, of a break, like componentry or group wise that you get most excited about? Or do you kind of have like a style that you think gets you like most excited when you're building a bike? Yeah, the, the things that I'm the most particular about are for sure my brakes and rear shock. That's okay. like the, if, if those are feeling good and I have like literal grips too, I mean, obviously I'm promoting my own thing, but like, <laughs> like a good, my, my bend of bars, which is different than most grips and then good film brakes and rear shock. And I'm like pretty damn dialed. Okay. But, um, but yeah, these are trick stuff brakes. They don't sponsor me or anything, but they're just favorite brakes. Yeah. Try, try running everything else and I just can't, can't quit you. <laughs> but they're, um, but yeah, everyone always gets on my bike like, what is wrong with your brakes? But I grip on the outside and then it would actually hit my knuckle if I gripped in here. Yeah. And people always trip out because I like to just make like, make a fist and, yeah. and, keep, and keep it minimal. When I was bringing your bike over here, I, I kind of parked my finger right there too on that uh -huh. little notch. And I was like, dude, these feel really good because yeah. I've never ridden these, but like it felt right at home in that lever. Yeah, they're, they're a hot commodity apparently. Right I guess on. they're sold out and they're really expensive, but they're... Um, yeah they work yes and then uh yeah and then yeah the hubs too like that's i don't know if you notice kyle and i riding but it's it's so much more pleasant not hearing something buzzing it's just quiet oh, yeah, and flowy true. and yeah <laughs> yeah but uh, honestly and it's kind of funny cruising into a really big jump it's slightly less stressful hearing like not hearing a free wheel just ripping i don't know it's just i love it okay all right. So you're not using like the sound of that or that whine to like gauge your speed. You're going more off like wind feel. Wind and... for sure. Okay. All, all wind. Yeah. Right on, man. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Dude, appreciate thanks, it. Thanks for having me. Thanks for focusing on my bike. You know, sponsees are, are good to me and I want to be good to them. This is honestly always, the, I feel very fortunate that I'm always riding the stuff that I would truly want to ride. Not like just, you know, because I fell into it, you know? So, yeah. you know, obviously 510s and TLD make the best stuff and Oakley and, you know, Tildy makes best, best helmet, so this is like truly yeah. not doing anything for the dollar, you know? Like, just like this is what I want to ride. Yeah, well, you've been doing it long enough and been through enough to where you're like, <laughs> yeah, you got to ride what you believe in, right? Yeah, correct. So, killer, man. Well, thanks again. Appreciate it. Cheers.